Hi guys, welcome. This is Wanda Flex, Wanda Wellness. My name is Janine and I'm here to guide you through how to support your practice. And we're gonna to talk today about the neck, the base of the skull, the occiput, supporting your wrists and also your ankles as we move through any Wanda or any workout. So come with me, come to stand. And just take a look at your feet for a moment, spreading all 10 toes. This is usually the base of all postures, everything that we do, right? Feel your feet root down into the earth and the crown of the head lift skyward. That belly draws slightly in and up as the tailbone extends. I just want you to close your eyes to feel like the ground underneath you and all 10 fingers can spread. Take a deep breath through your nose just to connect with your body. Big exhale out. We're going to bring it down to the mat in just a moment. So as you start to bend at your knees and crease from your hips, start to bring your knees down to the ground and you're going to sit right onto the tops of your feet. If your knees are sensitive, put a blanket underneath your knees. Otherwise, put your knees down and the tailbone lengthens down towards the ground or towards your heels. You're stretching the under part of your foot. Right? Stay here for a few breaths. It does. It gets fiery pretty fast. So breathe down into your pelvis, breathe down through your legs and into your low back. We're gonna take one more big breath here. And when you're ready, you'll uncurl your toes if you need to tap out your feet. You certainly may tap out your feet. I'm gonna turn around just so you can see me. Right, tapping out the feet. And then for a moment, sit back onto your heels. Right. If your knees are sensitive, you'll grab your prop, your blanket, or even sit on a block so that you have the prop underneath you. Right. If I were to grab my block, it would really help my knees and also the distribution of weight on your shins and the top of your foot, just giving you options. I'm going to stay here for now. Right. Spread all 10 fingers as much as you can for wrist stretches. As you exhale, begin to melt the middle finger down the ring finger down, your pointer probably will come down third and the pinky finger last. And you're gonna send the paw of your hand down to the ground so you're spreading the finger bones wide. Just like your feet, this is the opposite of what we normally do, holding the carriage, holding straps, so it does, it gets fiery pretty fast. Breathe down into your hands, your fingers, breathe down into your wrists. You can stay as long as you'd like. And when you're ready, you're gonna peel those fingertips off of the ground as slow as you can. And it does, it feels like you've just froze a rubber band. So you wanna be really gentle to stretch your fingers back, right? This is the opposite of what we normally do, especially if you eat, drive, text, or type a lot. Come with me to a seat. Again, you might find that you sit onto your props. You may sit on your blanket. Sit cross-legged so your left shin is in front of your right. right. Left shin in front of right. Keep those toesies spread and just active. Place your left hand directly out from your left sit bone, about a foot. Right, palm down. Slide your left shoulder down your back, away from your ear, and let your head relax to the left. So we're going right into the neck and the head here. Reach your right fingertips away from your right shoulder for neck release. We're gonna do two stages here. So let the right ear move away from the right shoulder as much as possible. And this supports everything that we do because we have a tendency to really tighten the neck and the head muscles. One of my favorite things to do here is to turn the palm to face forward or even the palm up so you start to get into that levator scapula and into the traps and the base of the skull. Breathe through the right side of your ear. Breathe through the right side of your neck. In stage two of neck release, so you're gonna turn your nose down towards your left hand. Take the left hand behind your head. 
if you've got hair, you absolutely may hold on to the hair. You're going right for this ledge of the skull, which is your occiput on the right side. And you're gonna stretch the head away from that right shoulder. Deep breaths through the neck. We're gonna give this two more breaths here. It feels so good, you guys. One more big breath. So listen carefully to come out of this. Release your left hand. Take your left hand to the left cheek of your face, giving all the weight of your head into your hand like you were holding a baby's head. Reach through your right fingertips, and as you inhale, bring your head back up to center, stacking the spine to neutral. Let's switch sides. Switch your right shin forward of your left. Right, feel your seat root down. You might find that you need to change your seat in any way here. You might grab a block and sit on a block. Walk your right hand to the right of your right sit bone, about a foot, it might be a little bit different for each of you. Right, slide that right shoulder blade down the back away from the ear. Plant the hand and start to let your head relax now to the right. Right, neck release, reaching left finger bones away from that left shoulder. Head relaxes a little bit more, so you start to create more space between left ear and left side of shoulder. Another benefit of doing something like this before or after your workout is you'll feel longer and taller. <laughs> Option to turn the palm forward, palm facing up is a little bit deeper rotation of that left shoulder blade. So much like Right, our practice here, you're going to breathe into where you feel. Letting head relax a little bit more away from left shoulder. Stage two, take right hand to the very base of that left side of your head or your neck. Right, let the weight of the hand, and again, if you've got hair, you can definitely hold on to something just to give some space to the neck. And breathing through left shoulder through left side of ear and neck whenever you feel tension a fun thing to do is to blubber your lips up two more breaths one more deep breath through the nose and out through the nose to come out, put your right hand to the right cheek of your face. Give all the weight of your head into your hand. And as you inhale, slowly bring yourself back up. Come on to your hands and knees, please. Right. Set your hands right underneath your shoulders. From hands and knees, place the hands right underneath your shoulders and your knees right underneath your hips, feeling just stacked and aligned. Right? We have a tendency to really push and pull here. So I want you to feel, instead of pushing and pulling, feeling the belly draw in and up and your shoulder blades slide down. We're bringing this to what I call turbo puppy dog, right? Turbo puppy dog, you bend your elbows back slightly in towards each other and slightly down. So you're wrapping, right, rhomboids and serratus, letting the head now relax. As you inhale, breathe into your upper back. As you exhale, bring those elbows a little bit closer towards each other so you're really starting to feel the upper body turn on. All 10 fingers stay spread as much as you can. If this feels easy, if this feels good, right, curl your toes under and lift your hips and it's turbo dog, the full adult version. You can stay here for as long as you'd like. You'll feel your shoulders. I'm already shaking, right? Feeling the shoulders turn on. Spread all 10 fingers and lift your seat as you gently squeeze those elbows in towards one another. To come out, put your knees down. Come all the way up and we're gonna flip onto our back for some core. If you're back tweaky, please grab a blanket and put it underneath your back. Lie down onto your back. 
On your back for today's sake, we're gonna interlace the hands behind the head to support your neck and your core. With the hands interlaced behind the head, keep the elbows pointed skyward. Lift your heels just to start. So we're gonna start by breathing into the belly and the low back, keeping a natural curvature of your lumbar spine, your low back. Feel the breath expand your belly and low back and feel the exhale pulling belly in and up, right? You'll feel your tailbone slightly lengthen towards the backs of your thighs or your knees when you do so. Inhale, expanding. Exhale, drawing belly in and up. One more breath like this. option to keep your feet down, especially if you're a low back tweaky, or option to inhale, float those legs to a 90 degree angle. You'll notice that my feet are not flexed or pointed, but I'm going to call this flointing, right? Reaching through the balls of your feet, the inner thighs turn on, and the tailbone slightly lengthens towards the backs of your knees. Those elbows go skyward to support your head the whole time. You'll feel if your head turns on when you do core. All right, keep the head relaxed into the hands. This one's called elbow towards the knee. So as you inhale, expand the breath into belly, low back. As you exhale, elbows go towards left knee. That right rib cage lengthens as the right leg goes up, right? The lower your right leg goes, the more that strains your low back. So the higher the right leg goes, the more you can pull belly in and up. Inhale, come back to center. Holding that breath for just a moment, feeling the tailbone lengthen towards the backs of the knees. As you exhale, elbows to the right, straighten left leg. Imagine you're jumping on the jump board, right? Feel the belly draw in and up as your left ribs lift off of the mat. Inhale, come back to center. Head relaxes into hands, but stays up. Hold the breath, feel the mid ribs ease down. Exhale, elbows to the left straight and right. So we're lifting up on the exhale here to pull the belly in and up and lift left shoulder blade skyward. Right. Inhale, come back to center. We're going to do two more on each side, holding the breath, feeling the mid ribs just ease slightly. Exhale, elbows up towards right knee, straighten left leg skyward. Feel the belly draw in and up as you pull that belly button down. Right. Inhale, come back to center. Let's do one more together. Hold the breath. Let that head relax into the hands. Exhale, elbows up towards left. Left ribs lift up as you straighten the right leg. Keep the toes spread, pull belly button in and up. Inhale, come back to center. Last one, you guys. Hold the breath, tailbone lengthens. Exhale, elbows up towards right. Straighten left leg skyward. Lift the right rib up off the mat as much as you can. Pull belly button in and up. Inhale, come back to center. If your feet are up, put them down. Exhale, lay your head and shoulders down. To come out, roll all the way over to your left hand side and press yourself up to sit. And then let's come to stand. All right, standing, just feeling what we just did. Feeling the feet press down, the crown of the head lifts skyward. Close your eyes and take just a few breaths through the whole circumference of your body feeling the effects of this practice. I wanna thank you guys for joining me in Wonder Wellness. You did an awesome job and I hope you guys have a great day.